just enjoying some sunshine here. It's like summer. It is delightful. So we've had a couple days of this, like 70 degrees for a night. It is just delightful. Changes your mood. Honestly, I've tried to make a video here for like three or four times and it just has not come together. So hopefully this one takes, we'll see. Smoking uh, a Chacombe king size. Big bowl. I mean, that's a probably what a grade five or more bowl. Kind of a cheesy uh, acrylic bit. Acrylic, it feels like plastic. And it's kind of bendy. It's not very, not very good. So I actually busted off a little piece of it and I epoxied it back on. <laughs> Had to run my um, my uh, gas uh, welding tip cleaner through there because uh, you know it just wasn't a very good pipe cleaner push through there. I tried different uh, bits, a rubber softy bit at first. I chew right through those. And then uh, the regular uh, vinyl bit that I use. No way. You know, it just kind of gets fat real quick. So I tried a little of that silicone electrical tape. I just didn't like it. Didn't like the feel of it, and I chewed right through it. So actually, without any bit at all, any bit cover, it actually holds in there pretty good. So it's one of about three pipes I have that defy putting a vinyl bit on it. <laughs> I was going to send it to uh, Tim West and have a new bit made for it. I have another one of these in smooth. But I just, I haven't done it. And I may not. I mean, it locks in there pretty good. And it's acrylic, so you don't, you know, get slightly scratched from the incisors. But uh, it's not too bad. What the heck? I haven't smoked these pipes nearly as much as I would like to because they kind of fit under a hat, you know. They're small, but they have a big capacity. So they make great field pipes. So you don't have to keep refilling. It's good for an afternoon out in the woods. Smoking some GLPs. Key Largo. With a little sort of an oriental English mix uh, with some cigar leaf and it's pretty spicy it's like wow this has a little uh, spicy kick to it I don't know about the nicotine I'll have to stand up and if I waver I've had too much nicotine <laughs> I'm just loving this weather so I've been cleaning up tree damage, um, the snow we had. So we had the most snow I can remember, uh, having been here 35 years. Um, although memory is short and selective. But really, I mean, it's been years and years since we had the kind of snow we just had. Uh, less than a month ago. I'll, I'll throw some pictures up at the end. <laughs> So maybe it, this feels just that much sweeter, this warm, springy weather, <sighs> just because of all that snow. Red winged blackbird. There's a little uh, drainage pond down here to kind of settle out the parking lot sediment. And uh, their cattails down there, and the red-winged blackbirds just love it. 
So it's kind of fun watching them. They're pretty, pretty zippy birds. Had a great fire drill last night. Uh, you know, men together, uh, doing stuff together is just such an interesting psychosocial dynamic. <laughs> it always amazes me. It's always amusing. Especially firemen who are pretty aggressive. In fact, the battalion chief last night made a uh, quip, something like he's just sort of the ringmaster in a circus full of uh, wolves with the scent of meat. <laughs> you know, so he's kind of organizing these guys, trying to keep them uh, focused. Well, I mean, they're very focused, but uh, making sure that everybody follows standard protocols and so forth. It was a great drill. It was a lot of fun. But uh, <laughs> the man thing always, <laughs> always amazes me. <laughs> I tell you, it's like we are now who we were then, meaning we're still kind of like kids at heart, and uh, I think men in particular are like kids playing army, you know, when you're eight, nine years old. <laughs> Burns pretty good too, although it's getting, it's kind of an older tan. It's probably five or six years old and half full. So it was a little, it was plenty dried out. Yeah, it's spicy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like these pipes. So, uh, yeah. Men doing stuff together is always pretty fun to watch. And, you know, there's male bonding, there's competitiveness, there's uh, joking around, but, and some taboo subjects, you know, that you joke around, that you kind of dance around. Um, uh, it's just, it's just fun to watch. <laughs> great guys. Really a great team that we have, but like most fire departments actually, uh, somehow there was a big push about 20 years ago, and a lot of people were hired in, a lot of expansion in fire departments. Well, those people are retiring, and so right now is actually a great time to be looking for a job in the fire service. So... Um, yeah, and if you have special skills like being a medic or have some experience or some command experience like being a lieutenant, wow, you are in demand. So, yeah, it's great to see. Because for a long time, especially during the economic downturn, a lot of fire departments are funded through property taxes and house valuations went down with the recession starting in like 2007. And, gosh, they've only, they have recovered now and are on the rise, but, and it depends on where you are. But there was a period, eight, nine years, where things had declined to the point where uh, there was reduced staffing, there was, you know, spending out of slush funds for the future. It was, it was looking pretty tight for agencies like that. So... So I guess things are looking up. It's just the perfect kind of experience here, just smoking on it. The last of the sunlight in the afternoon on a summery spring day. Today's the first day of spring. Absolutely delightful.
So anyway, hopefully everybody's, I, I know the uh, Midwest in the U.S. and probably other places around in Europe uh, are going to experience flooding because of all the snow. So we're lucky to be having days like this. I'll keep looking up in the sky for 737 maxes. <laughs> uh, wow. They'll get that figured out. But not without a lot of damage to the company and to, honestly, the FAA, who gave up too much control. Yeah, it becomes complex because they're funded through Congress and without funding they have to somehow make their mission happen. Ugh. It's tough. It reminds me uh, of a motorcycle run that we were on, to, gosh, maybe it's been 15 years ago, on San Juan Island. It was this beautiful, warm summer evening, and we were sitting around the campfire, just talking the way we do, and gosh, such great conversations, because the bike club I ride with has a lot of Canadian members, or did, and so they had just a different take on things, you know, and it was often much more sensible, <laughs> but uh, we were talking, I remember, you know about governance and what do you want your government your government to do and you have to really think about that you know uh, a lot of people say well I just want as little government as possible well until you get results like airplanes falling out of the sky and you know there are just some things that really need some government oversight and uh, Certainly, the aircraft industry is one of them. So we do see 737 Maxes flying around because they can still test them and ferry them from place to place. And so, you know, they're built down in Renton and they're, they're kind of uh, commissioned, as you, if you will, uh, in Seattle at uh, Boeing Field. And so, you know, they're, all, they're kind of flying around quite a bit. So, hopefully they'll get that MCAS thing figured out, if that's truly what the problem is, and it sounds like it is. You know, the Lion Air flight, as it turns out, the day before, it experienced the identical problem, and there was a third... Uh, pilot who was just ferrying along in the jump seat in the cockpit and he had the what the presence of mind to realize what the problem was and he flicked the two switches that are necessary to disable that system and so the plane didn't crash you know now why wasn't that sensor fixed why wasn't that whole scenario relayed to the flight crew if that plane for the next day, you know, I mean, it's just, I don't know, hopefully all that will be revealed, but uh, it kind of sounds like that's what the issue is, is that MCAS system, so. Faulty sensors, there should have been duplicative sensors, yeah, I don't know just my cheap opinions. Ah, hmm. uh, yes. Anyway, hope you're enjoying your day and the first day of springtime.